We're sure Raccoon City once had strip malls and Arbor Day parades, but in Operation Raccoon City, it's all zombies and biohazards. As part of the Umbrella Security Service, it's your job to do the Umbrella Corporation's more distasteful work, like eliminating evidence, tying up loose ends, and injecting a tyrant class abomination with a parasite that will turn him into Resident Evil 3's Star's Hunting Star Traction Nemesis. Star! Nemesis is just one of the series anchors that slips Operation Raccoon City into Resident Evil's timeline. With the game's heavy focus on militaristic class-based cooperative play, nearly unlimited ammo, and point-based unlockable abilities, it doesn't evoke the survival horror of the early games, nor the horror action of Resident Evil 4 or 5. Fortunately, there are beacons everywhere keeping the mythos alive. <laughs> Easily the least harrowing of the series staples is the friendly green herb. The green leafy constant heals you a bit. It's no first aid spray, but will do in a pinch. The streets of Raccoon City are bustling with zombie activity. It's nice to see the zombie cops of Resident Evil 2 shambling around in high definition, along with the bare midriff maidens. Also returning from 2 are the Lickers. They still lash out with their namesakes and scurry along the walls, but in greater number than ever before to compensate for the size of your squad. Hunters are back as well, but like the Lickers, not quite as fearsome with the firepower you're packing. Retconning can be a beautiful thing, which is evident by the inclusion here of Crimson Head zombies. These guys don't lurch and stumble, they sprint and claw. First seen in the Resident Evil remake on the GameCube, they were absent from Raccoon City Resident Evils until now. As an added bonus, you can unlock an ability for the Umbrella Agent codenamed Four Eyes that lets you convert a zombie into a Crimson Head who will then do your bidding. Very helpful when taking on the military forces that are occupying the city and impeding Umbrella's mischief. is UBCS. We've already mentioned Nemesis and his undying passion to exterminate the star's team, but Resident Evil 2's very own William Birkin has a role as well, getting you into shape during the tutorial in his grossly mutated form. The mercenaries from 3 get some screen time as well, with Nikolai straining the relationship with Umbrella when he starts sniping your team from afar. So far, we've only tackled the first four missions and have already ran into some familiar friends, undead associates, and locals. Where will the Umbrella team go next? We'd love to revisit the sewers, tango with Mr. X, and run into Ada Wong while applying curb stomps and popping heads off with shotguns in the glorious tradition of Resident Evil. <laughs>